What's up guys, it's the Apex Hound and welcome to another PGA video. Uh, I'm not going to be streaming it for a while because I'm going to be doing a couple PGA videos today and then I'm going to be watching the Open uh, at the times I'd usually stream over the next few days. So no streams for until like next Monday maybe, but um, or maybe I'll do one during the Open, who knows, but I, I assume people will rather watch the Open than watch me play this. But uh, basically what we're going to do here is a breakdown of Royal True and we're going to do the 18 holes here with uh, Dustin Johnson and I'm going to give you the bets that I've made like I did with the US Open. Uh, I'm going to show you what bets I've made. I'm going to tell you uh, who I'm back in, good underdog picks and uh, my main couple of picks as well. So I've actually made six bets. Usually I only make uh, four, uh, but three to four bets. Uh, but uh, I actually won a lot of money off Dustin Johnson winning these last couple of tournaments. So, I have more leeway to put on a couple extra bets, put a little bit more on, and stuff like that. So, um, I'll tell you my bets in, in a little bit, but we're also going to break down Royal Troon as we're playing through it. We'll have a look at some of these holes, see how tough it is, see what the rough is like. Because uh, you have to imagine that the game has an accurate representation of the courses. Because uh, I've heard people say that the game really does a good job of um, getting the courses dead on. So, we'll have a look and see what the story is so i don't know um about odds where you come from but basically like we do it like say uh dustin johnson for example is 10 to 1 right that means obviously if you put down uh one you're gonna get 10 back uh i don't know if you do it like this plus 10 uh plus 100 or plus 1000 thing i don't know what all that is about but um I, the way we do it anyway is like 10 to 1 so you can figure that out i, I imagine that's like plus 1000 or something i'm not sure but um over the open championship roster this is probably okay most, so guys uh, successful or provided the most course conditions tournament we're playing um obviously on the hardest tees uh, I put a bit of wind on as well to encapsulate uh, the Scottish winds and stuff like that. And also, uh, we're playing Sunday uh, pin positions and stuff like that. So as you can see, the wind is 10 mile an hour, pretty strong winds. Uh, as you can see, this is a Lynx course, and it's it's quite a beautiful one. I've been seeing pictures of it on the PGA Tour Snap. If you don't follow them on Snapchat, you probably should. They give you like a tour of the course and stuff like that. And on uh, the day of... Um, sorry, the day of the actual tournament, they go around with a certain group and like post videos and stuff like that of the players playing and stuff like that. So I think it's pretty cool. It's worth f giving them a follow at least. So we're going to jump in here. The first hole is a 381 yard uh, par 4. Not a long par 4 by any stretch of the imagination, but you got the C to the right. And the rough here is tough, so you gotta gotta keep it straight at Royal Troon. Oh wait, I went left. Got. It. And that is not straight. That's a not. That's not a good start. That's not the start we were looking for. Let's see what this rough is like here. Let's see what kind of line we got. This is kind of the the lighter rough though. This is not the heavy stuff. The heavy stuff is to our left there. You can see that. Okay, we got lots of wind. Should we go with our 48 degree? No, I think this will be enough. Sit down. Get down. Oh, this is Definitely this enough. Point. Absolutely perfect. This bar four. Still not on the green. So from the rough here, that's, still not done. that's a good shot, I feel. Good third shot. Maybe get away here with pop. So I will talk about my bets as we go through uh, the course. I just want to try and, like... Try and um, take in the course at the same time as I'm talking about it. You know what I mean? I don't want to just rush through it and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. That was horrible. That was awful. So, uh, obviously, my number one pick is going to be Dustin Johnson. The form this man is on is crazy. And, um, I mean, I think he could make it three in a row. I really do. Oh, that's unlucky. That's it's going to be a bogey to start. to start the day, guys. Wicked, to say the least. That is not good. So, it is playing tough. We're starting with a bogey. Yeah, that was poor, though. That was poor out of me. So, yeah, my number one pick, Dustin Johnson. He's 10-1 to 1 
He's the second favorite to win the tournament. Jason Day is nine to one. So um, I'm I'm using Skybet odds, by the way. I don't know if it's like different on uh, different ones. So I've actually I won like over 250 euro from Dustin Johnson winning the U.S. Open and the WGC Bridgestone. Um, so I actually put 20 on him. Um, I put 10 on him each way, which is a 20 euro stake. Um, with a potential returns of 145 if he wins, so that could that could turn out really well for me if he wins out, wins three in a row. So I'm gonna put I put all my bets on each way, just FYI because um, I just think that's a, a much better thing to do. So this is a 404 yard par four here, um, but yeah, DJ is my number one bet. Uh, he hasn't let me down this year at all, and even if he doesn't win, he usually always comes in the top five or, or thereabouts. You know what I mean? And just to give you an idea, the last time they played their rich was back in 2004 when Todd Hamilton beat Ernie Els. He got a whopping 720. Ooh, what a shot. If that spins, spin. I'm going to spin as much as I thought it would. Uh, I actually ended up backing, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six guys. Um, usually I would not back that many at all, but I have money in my account because of Dustin Johnson, and I said, why the hell not? It's a major championship. Might as well. Um, this is for a birdie to get back the one we lost at the first, but there's not... I thought that was going to turn... Yeah, see, it turned back around after the hole. I thought it was going to turn around before the hole, but it did not. Feels bad, man. Jesus, that nearly turned as well. So that's a par. This is a tough course. So uh, next bet we're going to talk about. I actually did end up uh, putting a bet on Ricky Fowler. I said I wasn't going to, but I actually did. Just because uh, I had money left over, he was kind of the one that I just said, fuck it, I might as well put a quit on him. So I only put like 150, I think, each way on him. So it w I'd get like 50 quid back. I never put too much money on him. I'm not like a crazy better or anything. But I always just put a couple of quid on for a little bit of fun. Um... Oh god, that's horrible. That's in the lake. No, 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 no. Please stop before it. Holy crap, that was lucky. Wait, what? That wasn't in there. We were out of bounds? Third shot now after having gone over. Oh, you are kidding me, dude. This is bad. I get some feels bad, man, in the chat, please. I'm not streaming, so there's no chat. Maybe a chance to get a par, guys. Oh, sensational shot out of the rough there. Sensational shot. So, yeah, I ended up putting a, a couple quid on Ricky just because I'm... I had it left over. Uh, I hate when I have, like, an uneven number on my betting, on my betting money. And I had, like, I think it was... Uh, what did I have? Six, 63 euro or something. So I said, fuck it, I'll just put 150 each way on Ricky and then we'll be down to 60. I'm kind of weird like that. I don't know what it is. But yeah, and um, I ended up just putting it on him. And uh, I mean, he could break the runt and maybe win at Royal June. He does like the... He does like the courses over in England and Scotland and stuff like that. Yes, let's go. Because he won the Scottish Open last year. And he always seems to play well on the Lynx courses and stuff like that. For an American player, uh, he goes out there and, and just plays aggressively, I guess. And just, uh, uh, yeah, he, he plays well on the Lynx courses. So uh, I did end up picking Ricky. So that's uh, two out of my six bets we'll talk about. So this is a nice par five here. 565. Uh, it's narrow, but a couple nice chances for Eagle if he can get it. If DJ can get it in the fairway here. He has the distance, obviously, but every pretty much everyone here can have like a chance at eagle. What the fuck? It's one of those glitches again, man. Are you kidding? I have no earthly idea. One of those goddamn glitches, man. Like, did you see my line? It was dead straight. I don't understand this game sometimes, man. Okay, we got it back in the fairway. We're not gonna get it there in two if that happens anyway. So um. <laughs> Now we should lay up with the three wood and we'll have a nice clean shot in. Still have a chance for a birdie. Not doing great here, but uh, it's a par five. DJ's wedge play is the best in the game. I don't mean in this game, but I mean in real life his wedge play is like the best. Uh, that is the strongest win, so I think I will hit this.
I could have put it even a little bit more right. I thought that. I said I might as well, because it would have been in the middle of the green otherwise. So, third bet, guys, um, is Louis Oosthuizen. He's done well like, uh, at the Open before, and uh, I feel like he's going to he's gonna win a major soon enough. He's been knocking at the door now for a while. Uh, he's been uh, for all the tournaments for the last couple of years. Has he won? He hasn't won in a while, I don't think. Uh, he's definitely won a major, I'm not saying that, but um, I'm just wondering... Has he won a tournament? Like, I want to check the last tournament that Louis Eustazen has won. Because I feel like he hasn't won in a while. I'm actually going to type that in right now. I'm going to get it up on my phone, Louis Eustazen. Because I'm, I'm interested to see that because he's been playing really well, but he hasn't been getting results is what I feel like it is. Louis Eustazen. Let's have a look here. He has won the Open before. And he's won the Masters as well, I believe so. Um, did he win the Masters? No, he came second in the Masters. He's never won the Masters. So he, his only open, uh, his only major is the, is the Open Championship. That was in 2010. I want to see here professional wins. Let's see. Uh, his last win was 2016. Um, oh, so it was. He has won in 2016. February 28th, 2016. The ISPC... The ISPS Handa Perth International. I don't think that's on the PGA Tour though, so. But uh, he has won, to be fair to him. Um, but yeah, before that, his last win was 2014 at the Volvo Golf Championship. So yeah, I feel like Ustazen's been playing well, but he hasn't been getting the wins. And I feel like he could come in clutch with a win at the Open here, possibly. He's 33 to 1. That's a good price for Ustazen. I feel like he's a good little uh, dark horse to win the tournament. Today, and, um, yeah, so I, I, I backed him. I only put a, on exactly a quid on him just uh, each way, so uh, potential returns would be like 50 quid as well, I believe. Yep, wrong club choice. That was too much. I should have gone with the 213. God damn it. So, yeah, Louis Stason. This is a nice part three, though. 200 yards. I feel like this course is going to be... Tough, but like not like U.S. Open tough. So I feel. Mm. I'm trying to think. I feel like the the winning score will be under par for sure. I think it could be like seven eight under. I'd be interested to see though, because like the course isn't overly difficult, but it, there's nice challenges. That's a good putt right there. Well, that's and that's going to be a simple pair. So yeah, those so far, Dustin Johnson, Ricky Fowler, Louis Eustazen. And I got a couple big underdogs coming up in a second, like uh, over 100 to 1s and stuff like that, that I feel could do really well at this tournament. And um, could be a good bet just each way, you know? Go down uh, to your bookies or online or whatever you do it and just put a, a quit on them each way. And... Um, maybe they can come in clutch for a um, just allow the, the for a right top. Uh, they're paying seven places. Sky better paying seven places. Usually places play seven places on uh, majors. So uh, go and check how much your bookies, uh, how many places your bookies is uh, doing, and then maybe put a quid on like uh, the ones that I'm going to talk about in a minute. So um, my fourth bet is not an underdog. He's Adam Scott. Adam Scott is uh, has been very very close to winning. Uh, this is a long ass par five. Not even Dustin Johnson can get here in two, but that's into the wind. We probably could if we were um, not into the wind here, but we'll, we'll try to get up there as far as we can. Oh shit. What a shot. Oh my god, what a shot that was. And we're still nowhere near the green. So, yeah, uh, Adam Scott has been painfully, painfully close um, to. Set up for his third shot to winning the Open Championship the on a num on a number of times. He actually bottled it. There's no other way to put it. He bottled it a couple of times. And I really feel like this could be Adam Scott's year if he can get up there and compete with the likes of Dustin Johnson and Jason Day. Adam Scott is one of the best swings on tour. He just needs to get his putting going, and uh, he could have an amazing week here with the top dogs. And if he's not going to win, I feel like he's definitely going to compete and maybe get a top top uh, five, top seven finish. So yeah, Adam Scott's a great pick, I feel, for this Open Championship. And he's been playing solid stuff recently. Solid, solid stuff. And um, he's a former world number one, you know, he could 
do you even think about carrying those He's always dangerous. Adam Not Scott really. is always Chris, dangerous. Okay, so this is uh, 416 yards. Um, what is that a green there? Oh, that's the par three green coming down, isn't it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the one, DJ. That's the one. So if DJ can keep driving it and, and um, hitting irons like he is, like this fool is first, I think, in off the tee accuracy driving and length and stuff like that, and then uh, strokes gained off the tee or something like that. And then this man is like uh, first as well in the 100 to 150 range with uh, wedge play. So I mean, this man is, is killing it from tee to green, he really is. And uh, uh, if he can get his putting and his chipping going, this man is just unbelievably good. And he's unstoppable if he can get his putting going, basically. That's the only way to put it. This man, if he can get his put putting going, is unstoppable. Well, he's taking a right little bit fast on the over a and overswing there, but that's not bad. We have a pretty chance we're level par now, so... Oh, that's excellent. Seriously, given the conditions, right? We had birdie on the last par five, level par through six. Not terrible. Oh, what the hell just happened? Okay, so I'm going to talk about my underdog picks now in a second. Uh, but um, this one is a hundred to one, right? And he's been playing well. At, uh, he's on plays on the European tour a lot, so he's used to these kind of courses. Uh, Rafa, Rafa Cabrera Bello, and he's always oh, stay there. He always seems to be up at the top in the European tour. Uh, especially on like the links courses and stuff like that. So I think Rafa Cabrera Bayo at 100 to 1. I just put one quid on him, right? Uh, each way. And that's a possible potential returns of 127 if he wins. And if not, if he even comes like. Um, if he even comes in the top 7, then you get tw 30 quid. Like it's not a crazy amount of money, but I mean, why the hell not? You might as well just go and put it down. From 1 to 30, it's not bad, you know? Uh, we got a lot uh, downhill here. I'm gonna come to like this, and the wind is strong. Well, this one should be safe Ooh, yeah. On deck here. Kick towards it though. Oh yes, nice. I thought it was gonna go down a little bit farther. Well we have a birdie chance here. This is a toughish part three. It's short, but it's like downhill. Wind is strong, and it's a smallish well, green as well. So. So yeah, Rafa Cabrera Bayo, guys, I think um, is worth just throwing a quid on. Also, Mateo Manacero, I actually haven't backed him yet myself, but I might uh, put a like a quid on him as well. I think he's 100 to one as well. He came, I believe, t tied third in the Scottish Open last week, so I feel like he's a he's a good bet. He's all he's a good youngster. Like he's plays with with a lot of. Um, God damn it! Plays with a lot of intelligence, and that's really handy around these uh, these links courses. And my final bet, my final one, my final tip for you guys, he's actually sixth in the FedEx Cup standings this year. Uh, he's actually no joke. Looks like just Dustin Johnson, but way smaller. He looks like a mini Dustin Johnson. It's like you actually just brought him out and shrunk Dustin Johnson. That's what this kid looks like. It's it's so funny to me. But uh, Kevin Chapel, and this is crazy odds on Kevin Chapel. I feel that actually the P I think I read the PGA thing uh, before after I had made my um, made my bets, and they actually had Kevin Chapel in their top ten players to watch at the open so yeah i made a good one there and he's 150 to one are you kidding me this man i have one uh 150 on him i think yeah 125 or something each way so that's 250 stake on him and potential returns of 236. Uh, i feel like he's gonna win a major uh sometime in the near future so i said why the hell not just put it down and see see how he goes maybe if he comes in the top seven i still get a lot a, a lot you know so i still get what like uh I don't even know, like 40, 50 quid or something. Wow, way left. That's garbage, dude. Come on, Dustin. What am I doing here? I need to concentrate now. So now that all that's out of the way, I also put um, just a fiver on... There's a quick bet of Day, Johnson, McElroy, or Speed to win. Seeing as I didn't back Day... McElroy or speed I said I might as well put one on day Dustin Johnson McElroy or speed to win because even if Dustin wins there that's a little bit of extra money and that's like uh, 15 to 8 like it's just about 2 to 1 so I get a potential returns of 1438 so 
I mean, it was just worth a, a quick bet on that one, I feel. Because uh, that's the top four in the world right there, and you're getting uh, two to one for any of them to win, you know what I mean? So now that that is out of the way, we shall uh, t take more notice of Royal Shroom here. We're just going into the back nine here, so we'll see how good the back nine is here. We need this for a par, and we've got it. We're at even par, nothing crazy, but maybe we can tear apart the back nine. Got a good Sunday finish here for Dustin Johnson and see if we can win this tournament. Rich Lerter alongside Frank Navalo getting set for the back nine here at historic Royal All right. Troon. What's the tenth? Oh yeah, I hate this hole. It's called Sandals, and that's for a reason. Blind this is actually a really tough hole. So I'm gonna hit a hit three iron though. Sandals. Ideally you want to hit the ball about 280, 209 yards. I think I've done just that. No, I haven't. Frank, this one is hit someone and go into the fairway. Hit someone. Oh, it nearly did. <laughs> it actually hit someone and went the opposite way and then went back towards the fairway after it hit another person. I was like playing ping pong with their heads. <laughs> this is a tough par four though, as you can see here. Like the fairway is like way over a hill so you can't even see it. It's a blind shot to the fairway. And on top of that, um, on top of that, you have a tough second shot as well into a narrow green here. If you miss the fairway, it's even tougher. We have 11 mile an hour winds with us, but not a great lie, and it's way uphill. So I'm going to hit 195, and that's going to run towards the hole. That could be good. That could be good. That could be real good. That could be real good. Oh! What? What? Are you kidding me? Let's go, dude. Let's go, Eagle. Holy shit, dude. Oh, my God. What? Okay, I might have gone a little bit too crazy there, but holy shit, that was awesome. <laughs> uh, rip headphone users. Uh, rip headphone users. Holy crap, what a shot out of the rough. I was just talking about how tough that shot was, and I bury it into the hole. Are you kidding me, dude? Holy shit. Are you kidding me? Wow. I hit that one slow. I wasn't even concentrating. Who gives a shit? I just got an eagle, baby. Dustin Johnson holds. That's out of bounds. Oh, fuck. Oh no, that is just, uh, we're going to give away our eagle here if we don't fucking recover. Oh, this is a nasty shot. Oh god, this is horrible. Judging the distance on this is impossible. We're going to hit the 4 iron. I'm going to hope for the best here because we're at 68% lie. It's gone left. That actually could have been okay. If I had hit that straight, that would have been really good if I had hit that straight, but that's not terrible from where we were. Um, we, ha we have a chance to get up and down and hold on to that eagle, not lose any straight after. But holy shit, I can't believe I just made that. That was awesome. That's going to be a clip on Twitter. <laughs> has to be. Oh, that's beautiful. I just finished talking about, like, uh... Who I was gonna bet on it would be hilarious if most of you guys clicked out of the video when that happened oh sit my god wow these greens are like really quick like they don't sit like I had that on full loft usually like if you have it on full loft it like stops dead but at Royal Troon apparently it just runs a lot we have a nice little downhiller for a birdie here not easy at all I'm gonna try and clutch a pair here after making eagle at the last no not even not even close to enough. That was crazy amount of break. My God. So let me know what you what your bets are, guys. If you have any bets of your own, I, I would be uh, interested to hear them. And also, um, what you think of Royal Troon as a course? I, I think it's awesome. Um, I enjoy it, and I, I like playing it on the on the game. It's nothing like too crazy or anything, um, like like Wolf Creek or uh, even Chambers Bay or Whistling Straits. But like it's it's nice. It's like nice calm course. It's nothing crazy. Nice and clean cut course. Oh, that's slow. Oh, that's going to be right because it's slow. God, we are messing up after that eagle. It's looking like we're going to make a couple of bogeys here. And this one is headed for the rough, Frank. So it is a tough course if you don't hit the fairways for sure. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. I didn't think we are going to reach with this. Left again, dude. That's alright, though. We were never going to reach. I didn't want to hit the bush ahead of me either. 
playing this far for Come on, we need to get up and down here, guys. Come on. That second shot. That's still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with Park. What hole did I hold out on? I think it was the tenth, right? Uh, yeah, tenth. Because I wanna, I wanna actually watch that again. Because that was beautiful. Okay, let's come back a bit because we know they jump a little bit now. Let's go to like twenty-eight and see what, how we do with that. See, that dropped way short. What? Oh, that is annoying. That's gonna come all the way off the green, isn't it? Like the one time I, I actually do it short, it stays short. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? Uh, we're gonna make back-to-back -back bogeys after making that incredible eagle. I can't believe that. That's so annoying. Back-to-back -back eagles after a crazy ass, or back-to-back -back bogey. Sorry, after a crazy ass eagle. Oh, it was a good attempt. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's back-to-back -back bogeys, though. And uh, after the eagle, we've given those straight back. We've given the two shots straight back. And that is disappointing. That is disappointing. We have to come in clutch here. We'll say the winning score is three under. We have to finish three under. Jason Day is in the clubhouse at two under power. We have to finish three under to win the tournament. Too far. Wow. Can't believe that was too far. Stay in the short rough, thank you. Over ambitious? Do you mean ambitious, dude? Setting up here in the rough. Ten mile an hour wins with us, but that's an eighty percent line. I think I'm just gonna hit this the way it is. Oh, it's too far. Yep. God damn it, dude. We are. We need to. We need to cop on here. Concentrate a little bit. These these holes are tough. These uh, the back nine is tough. That eagle, even that eagle we got, like that hole was really tough. That was like such a an amazing shot right there. Okay, that's a clutch chip. I'm gonna tap that in for a par, and. We'll see if we can make some birdies on the last five. Let's go three under for the last five, guys. Heading for home now, Frank. Look at that eagle bogey, bogey. That's so disappointing, man. We got a couple of par threes and a par five. Wow, this is a tough par three actually, with the way that pin is tucked away there. But the wind is kind of helping us in that regard. Ideally, you want it to fly more towards the middle, where it starts to widen up. Hit that slow, God. Wait, that's actually good, though. <laughs> what a shot. It's going to be off the green. Are you kidding? That's not even on the fringe. Second shot. Let's see if we can put this in. Oh, a little bit too much. Too much break. Easy par, though. Put for par. I'm going to start putting from the fringe a little bit more, too. It's just kind of hard to judge because you don't get, you get like a 91% lie. Which, like, you have to hit it a lot harder sometimes. 480 yard par 4 here. We need it. Oh, God, this is bad. 260 yards gets you past that. If you find the fairway here, then you don't have to worry about the three bunkers that are short of this green. Let's find the fairway then. Uh, nice. Yeah. That is amazing. Wow, what a drive there, DJ. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, we need three birdies in our last four. Or two if we want a playoff. We need some clutch play here from DJ. Some clutch DJ play. Second shot. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful course, like in the fact that it's clean and stuff. It's just... The environments aren't too crazy, you know. It's Scotland. Uh, it's kind of plainish, you know. Anyone else agree? Or is it that just me? Just me. All right. Should be, pretty be the number. Jump. Oh my God! That jumped way too much. Like, look at the jumps you get in these greens. Wow. Okay, DJ. Why are you celebrating like that, man? I don't think I've ever once in my life seen DJ do that. Come on, PJ Tour, get it, get it right, dude. DJ doesn't even. DJ's cool as hell, dude. 
He never does that. Yes. Okay, that's one. That was a good birdie, too. That's a tough hole right there. This course kind of plays similar to St. Andrews in the fact, like, the greens, like, they hop and jump and skid and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Okay, so this is a par 5. I'm definitely going over. Keep it short. You want to see me keep it short at this burn, huh? Well, it's not going to happen to me. That's absolutely never going to happen to me. Because I'm going straight over that shit. Oh, that is miles down there. That is 350 easy. Yep. 355, 356, 357. 360 yards from Dustin Johnson. What's a player? What's a player? And now we have... Uh, we still have uh, a long way in. Longish way in. Oh, the 7 iron. We just sit back and relax here. Okay, I'm gonna go with this with the eight iron actually. This man hits his eight iron 188 yards. What the fuck, dude? It's just crazy long. That was slow. That's gonna be short. Damn it, dude! I thought the wind would bring that on a little bit more. Oh wow, we got the hop. Ooh, that's an eagle putt. That's a chance to get into the solo lead right there at three under par. That's a shortish eagle putt. And wow, Jason Day. Who thought he might have had this wrapped up now has Dustin Johnson hot on his tail here and maybe just maybe in the solo lead Dustin Johnson is going to win his second major in a row if he can find pars at 17 and 18 this is a tough par three we need to find pars here on the next couple of holes takes a brilliant long iron shot just to Oh, you're about to see a brilliant long iron shot. You're about to see. You're going to learn today what a brilliant iron shot is. Oh, hell yeah. Stay left. Don't you dare hop right. Oh, it hopped left. What? No! No! Are you actually kidding me? What? It didn't even stay in that bunker. Holy shit. But, like, what the hell just happened there? It kicked left and then just kind of rolled off the fairway. That was... <laughs> That's some bullshit. This is a tough up and down, though. Shit. Dude, this is not easy whatsoever. God damn, this is tough, man. We might need to birdie 18 after all. Never mind. Dustin's clutch. Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a tester right there, though. That is a tester. So, yeah, I really enjoy this course. It's, it's fun. It's plainish. And it's, um... It's clean cut. It's nice. We need this putt. Greens aren't too crazy either, like um, like they were at the U.S. Open. They're not like ridiculously crazy. They're kind of they uh, well in the game anyway. They seem pretty simplish, and usually they have them pretty dead on. So um, I don't know. We'll see. All right, we're gonna do this in Dustin style. Way ahead, hit just a beast drive straight down the center of the fairway, and oh shit. Oh fuck! Never mind. Oh, Dustin, why? We're in the rough. We need to make par to win the tournament. Just a par, one par, one par, DJ. That's all you need, son. Frank, in golf, as we know, there's short grass and there's long grass. We all want to be in that short grass, but it doesn't always work out that way. So, what's the most important element from the shot, from the rough? It's long. It's long. We need to get up and down here, guys. Or we're going to a playoff with J-Day. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. That's a little tester right there to win the tournament. Dustin Johnson's gonna need to make a clutch putt here to win the Open Championship at Royal Troon. It's a nice finishing hole. Stands all around the place. Let's see if Dustin can clutch this one out and finish. Here we go. He can! Dustin Johnson's won three in a row and two majors in a row. And he's won at Royal Troon. Thank you, thank you very much. Dustin Johnson is a major champion once again. I think that it could very well go down like that. I said three under could be the winning score too. And there, boom, three under Dustin Johnson. I think for all 
Uh, no, I didn't say that. Did I actually? <laughs> I don't think. I think I said like. Yeah, I honestly think that will probably will probably be like seven, eight under. Uh, maybe not. We'll see how the conditions are in Scotland. It could be very, very windy. Uh, we will see. Hope you guys enjoyed the bets. Hope you guys enjoyed the the breakdown of Royal Troon. We had a look at the course, and um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, make sure to hit a big like. We'll be back uh, for the PGA. We'll do this kind of video uh, again for the PGA Championship. And we'll be doing streams and stuff like that at career mode and other stuff like that. I might uh, do a couple challenges from here until the end as well. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, boys.